Christopher Hitchens has passed away at the age of 62. He was diagnosed with esophageal cancer um, back in 2010. And, um, you know, he passed away as a result of that. So uh, everyone is talking about his uh, death today. And, of course, there are op-eds everywhere about it. You know, these stories are always difficult to cover because we're in the business of commentary. And I feel weird commenting on it, right? Yeah. Be yeah, look, I don't, if, of all people who would not have minded you commenting on their lives, it would be Christopher Hitchens, right? He, I'm sure my guess is, knowing his life, he would have welcomed it. So, obviously, the good and the bad, uh, we, you know, he started out uh, protesting the Vietnam War, uh, was totally in favor of civil rights. But a supporter of the Iraq War. But a supporter of the Iraq War. So you got your ups and you got your downs. Mm -hmm. He was maddening on the Iraq war, so wrong, so insistent, that he got me to actually, for the first time, sympathize with religious people that he uh, debates with. Because he, you know, I, I, of course, think he's totally right. On the religious issue, he, was, uh, he called himself an anti-theist. Mm -hmm. I'm agnostic, but we agree, right? Uh, largely, there's some things we disagree on there. Uh, but he's so smug, uh, you know, and when he was so wrong in the Iraq war, that I thought, God, the religious people who he debated must have been thought, this guy's smugness is unbearable, mm -hmm. right? Uh, always with the attitude of, well, obviously I'm right about everything, but he was a character, man, and I love characters, people who live their lives fully. When you went to an event with Christopher Hitchens, which I didn't, but I'm just getting this from news uh, accounts and, and people that knew him, et cetera, you knew Christopher Hitchens was in the room, and you knew that you were gonna have an interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. On that alone, win, okay? Um, that's the kind of guy I'm in favor of. And look, of course not everybody's going to agree with you, so he disagreed with us on Iraq. I thought he was very harmful on Iraq. That's life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and Christopher Hitchens lived it fully, and, uh, and I appreciate his contribution to the thought, you know, that we had and, and the discussion and the conversations that we had, uh, whether it was in the U.K. or here in the U.S., agree or disagree. Right, and you know, he was a very well-known writer as well, and he wrote for so many different publications, including Harper's, Washington Post, Huffington Post, um, Vanity Fair, and you know, he was asked once, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't have his quote in front of me, uh, but he was asked once, you know, what motivates you to be a writer? What motivates you to be a journalist, in, in a sense? And he says, so I don't have to depend on other people to give me the news. Uh -huh. right? And I love that quote, right? Because yes. if you are an intellectual, if you want to seek the truth, you can do it yourself. Yeah. Look, I, I'm almost always going to be in favor of a guy who, if I'm going into a room with him, uh, t will turn to me and goes, come on, let's pick an intellectual fight. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm like, win, right? Fight and, you know, a smart conversation. Uh, let's do it, right? So, Christopher Hitchens, uh, may you rest in peace, but uh, if you and I are right, uh, you're resting in non-existence. So, I suppose that is peaceful. That's, that's one of the things. I mean, you know. Like you guys said, you wonder what to say about someone who died. When it's someone who's one of their main things people know them for was his stance on religion is being so strong. The first thing I thought was, well, I wonder what he, I wonder if he's right or wrong. He knows right now. Yeah, well, well, of course, if we're right, then he doesn't know because, boof, gone, end of this, right? And there's no, there's not even a second to go. Oh, look at that! I was right about no existence. What's <laughs> right? So. But on the other hand, too, you know, you're a little, you know, hesitant to talk about his life, etc. I assure you, not only would Christopher Hitchens not have cared in it when he was alive, but now that he's dead, he certainly believed that since he no longer exists, he couldn't give a rat's ass what you say about him afterwards. Right. Right. So anyway, interesting character, no doubt.